Transistors are nonlinear components. This prevents us from applying our usual tools for circuit analysis, like the superposition principle. If we still want to use them, we have to linearize the transistor. The linearization of a transistor is performed around its operating point. If we move around this point just a little, we can replace the nonlinear characteristic with a linear function, as shown here for the output characteristic. These linear functions are determined by the small signal parameters. There are a couple of small signal parameters, which are derived from the different characteristics of our transistor. Maybe the most important one is the transconductance Gm. The transconductance Gm gives the slope of the transfer characteristic and tells us how well the drain current responds to changes of the gate source voltage. The transconductance can be calculated easily. Let's assume we operate our MOSFET somewhere in the saturation region. We just substitute for the drain current and calculate the derivative with respect to VGS. The small signal output impedance RDS is the inverse derivative of the output characteristic. The calculation itself is not very complicated and rather straightforward. All these different small signals parameters form the small signal equivalent circuit. For our circuit analysis, we simply replace the actual transistor with the equivalent circuit and apply methods like the superposition principle as usual.